After starring in all five Scream films as the main character, let me repeat that, as the main character, Paramount Pictures has decided not to offer Nev Campbell the salary she deserves. Therefore, she will not be starring in Scream 6. She recently told the press, As a woman, I have had to work extremely hard in my career to establish my value, especially when it comes to Scream. I felt the offer that was presented to me did not equate to the value that I have brought to the franchise. It's been a very difficult decision to move on. To all my Scream fans, I love you. You've always been so incredibly supportive to me. I'm forever grateful to you and to what this franchise has given me over the past 25 years. I honestly don't believe that if I were a man and had done five installments of a huge blockbuster franchise over 25 years, that the number that I was offered would be the number that would be offered to a man. And in my soul, I just couldn't do that. I couldn't walk on set feeling that, feeling undervalued and feeling the unfairness or lack of fairness around that. Matthew Lillard, who played Stu in the original Scream, showed his support for her decision and said, Did Tom Cruise take less money for Top Gun Maverick? F no. Why is a woman supposed to take less? Why wouldn't you pay her more as the series goes on? Should Nev Campbell be paid for the work she's done in five movies of a franchise? Yes, because she is a female lead of one of the most successful horror franchises infuriating. Considering how successful the Scream franchise has been, if Nev Campbell says jump, Paramount Pictures should say how high. In my opinion, they are wrong to assume that the franchise doesn't need her. I have no doubt that Scream 6 will do financially well, but Sydney's absence will be felt and I doubt there will be much enthusiasm for a Scream 7. Perhaps they are setting up Jenna Ortega to be the next main character for the Scream films. But why do that when the audience is so used to Sidney Prescott being the hero? Should they call it quits on the Scream franchise? Personally, I don't think any of these movies has topped Scream and Scream 2. Those were the best by far and the later sequels feel a bit gratuitous. But that's just my opinion. So tell me, what are your thoughts about Scream 6? Should Nev Campbell's departure signal that it's time to stop making Scream movies? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe for more horror content.